Hey guys, it's Miss Stacy. So Halloween is coming up soon. And you know that one of the things that we think about when we think of Halloween is pumpkins. So we did some things with real pumpkins a few weeks ago. This week we're gonna try making a new kind of Play-Doh that I've never made before. But you make it with canned pumpkin. You see that? So inside the can, it's orange like a pumpkin, but instead of being a big pumpkin like the ones we saw, it's kind of this like squishy pureed pumpkin. So we already opened our can of pumpkin, but if yours isn't open yet and you're gonna try this and you go to open your can of pumpkin and you're gonna take that whole can and put it into your bowl. All right, look at that. It's pretty and orange. Very cool looking. I like it. So it's a lot less messy than remember when we opened up our pumpkin and we had all the pumpkin guts and the seeds. This way all the pumpkin is ready for you. The only bad thing is it doesn't smell very good. If you smell it, it sort of smells like squash because pumpkin's like a kind of squash, but it doesn't smell like something we want our Play-Doh to smell like. So we're going to use some of this. It's called pumpkin pie spice. And that smells really good. It smells like cinnamon and nutmeg. So we're going to take some, we're going to put some of that pumpkin spice pie spice in with our pumpkin and let's mix it up and then see what it smells like. So you can see the brown pumpkin pie spice mixing in with the pumpkin. You could mix it with a spoon or with a spatula, but you're using your hands and you're getting it all in there, using your hands to hold this. You could use your hands to touch it. That might be a little gross right now. So you're using your hand to move the spoon or the spatula. So let's smell it now. Oh, it definitely smells better. That's a better smell for our Play-Doh. All right. So just like this, it wouldn't be like Play-Doh. It's way too gooey. So what we're going to put in there is some cornstarch. Okay. So we're going to start. The recipe said two to three cups. So we're going to start with two cups of cornstarch and mix it all in and see what it looks like. So you can use your two hands or somebody can help you. You hold your cup and your cornstarch, pour it in there. Look at that. So our cornstarch is white. It's making a big mess and we can feel it. Cornstarch is fun to play with because it's nice and soft. So this is one cup of cornstarch. We're gonna pour it in. And I'm thinking, let's mix in that one cup before we put in more or else we're gonna have a big cloud of cornstarch everywhere. We kind of already do. All right, so we're mixing it in, still using our spatula or a spoon because we don't want to try to touch it with our hands yet. That would be really gooey still. I'm getting it all in there. I'm using one hand to hold my container. You probably have a bowl if you're doing it at home. And we're mixing it in there. So see, where the cornstarch is mixing, it's turning lighter orange because when we mix the white in with that dark orange. All right, so we mix in our one cup of cornstarch. So we don't have any more white, but see, it's still really sticky looking, not something we want to touch yet. So let's do one more cup of cornstarch. So we're going to pour. We don't have quite enough in there to do another cup, so we'll mix this in. And then we'll open another box to get some more. Okay, so we'll get rid of this cornstarch. And we'll mix this in here. So you can feel it. If you try this, it's getting so it's not so sticky. You can feel it turning into Play-Doh. It's turning into a solid piece. I kind of like this because you only need two ingredients. Right? Well, we had three because we had our pumpkin pie spice, but really you just need pumpkin and cornstarch. And if it works, we'll have our own Play-Doh. So we're still mixing. We're getting it all in there. Let's see. You see it? We're definitely going to feel it after this and see whether it still needs more. I kind of think it does. Let's see. Oh, it feels cool, but still sticky. So, first I'm going to wipe my hand off, because now I have pumpkin on my hand. Oh, man. 
All right, so wipe off the pumpkin. We have some more cornstarch. We have lots of cornstarch because we used it in OT group last week. Remember when we made our black, that gooey stuff? Cornstarch comes in handy. All right, so we're gonna do about one more cup of cornstarch. Makes a big mess, but it's easy to clean up, so that's good. All right. For our last cup of cornstarch, we're going to mix it all in here, and then our Play-Doh will hopefully be ready to play with. Let's see. Get it all in there. Oh, man. It's coming together. I feel it. All right. I think i got to use my hands now. This is where it gets fun. All right. So now we're going to get our hands dirty. So we'll use our two hands and squish it. So you squeeze it with your fingers, mix all that cornstarch in, you can move it all around. And even if your hands get dirty, it's okay, because it washes off really easy. Cornstarch is a really easy thing to clean up. You're going to see the video shaking, right? This always happens when we get excited about stuff and we move the table too much. Here it goes. I like this. I wish I could give you guys some through the camera so you could feel it, but it kind of feels like play. It's really cool. Look, you can make it into a circle. Check that out. So we started with that really gooey pumpkin, and now we have this nice clay dough or clay that we can make things with. So I wonder what we can make. Should we try to make a circle first? So we'll use our two hands and we'll roll, 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 and we get a circle. And we could push it down, right? Push. And now instead of a nice round ball, we have a flat circle. I tried to pick it up and show you, but it fell apart. Can we pick it up? Can we do it? Oh no, it doesn't want to pick up nicely. But we can also make lines, right? We can roll it into a snake. And we could make a line that goes down or a line that goes across. We could make some letters with it if we really wanted to. We could make it nice and flat, I bet. And we could use our finger and we could make a line down or we could use this and we could make a line down. You see that? Or we could make a line across. Look at that. We could write a letter, right? We could write a letter P for pumpkin. You see that? And we can just make fun shapes with it. Or we can just squish it with our hands, right? We just squish, squish, squish. We can squish with two hands. We can squish some in one hand. We can try to use one finger and poke holes in it. So many things we can do. And all we needed was two things, right? We just needed a can of pumpkin. And we needed three cups of cornstarch. And then we used a little bit of this pumpkin pie spice to make it smell better. All right, so if you want to try it at home, you'll have to let us know how it goes, All right? So have fun.